our founder, J.C. Hall, was just 18 years old when he came to Kansas City from Nebraska with a shoebox of picture postcards and some pretty big dreams. 100 years later and billions of greeting cards later, the third generation of the Hall family still continues his commitment to helping people connect. You know, pop culture uh, will change, trends will change over time, even language, you know, specifically the words we use to communicate with each other may change, but at the end of the day, we are all born into this world. Um, we all celebrate birthdays, many of us get married, we will have babies of our own, some of us will, um, and every single one of us during the course of our lifetime will lose someone. Those are life situations that endure and it's Hallmark's role, um, we believe, to be there to help people say what they want to say during those really important times. To celebrate, to encourage, to support, um, that's what our brand stands for and why we're here. Well, we certainly do pay attention to popular culture and trends, but mostly we get our ideas from you. We get our ideas from real people. Um, we pay attention to their situations, their relationships, what they want to say, and how those things change over time. Um, that's the true inspiration. Real life is the true inspiration for the product that we create. There are so many stories that people have shared with us over the years about the difference Hallmark has made to them. Um, one of my favorites happened recently. We have new recordable storybooks that were in our Hallmark Gold Crown stores over the Christmas season. And we got a letter from a family who recently adopted a child in Korea. And they were telling us how they recorded their voices reading was the night before Christmas. And they sent the book overseas so their son could familiarize himself with their voices before they had a chance to actually meet in person. Um, that's one that was really emotional for all of us to hear. We've heard a lot of stories about people sending recordable sound cards overseas um, to their loved ones uh, in Iraq and how you know their loved ones able to hear their voices say I love you and I miss you, how that made them feel like they were there with them and kind of decreased the distance between them, the physical distance. We also have heard people tell us that you know they have a loved one pass away and they find boxes of greeting cards that that person kept over the years. We've heard the reverse of that where they say, you know, my grandmother just passed away and I have all the cards she ever sent to me and her handwriting is in there and when I see her handwriting and trace my finger over her handwriting, I feel closer to her in that moment and, and allows me to remember, you know, the personal touch that she had on my own life. 